<laughs> Boy, it's great to see you back hey. on dish, my friend. I didn't think I'd see this happen. They said it would never happen. I thought we got to do this. We didn't do it yet. No, you just walked by me on the way out. I thought we got to do our commercials, though. Oh, we will. Absolutely. No, done, done, done. So, they said this would never happen. It's happening on dish. What was the moment you said, yep, I'm going to make this happen? Um, speaking with my children, talking with my children, speaking with Al, you know, talking to close friends of mine, Nate Jones, uh, my guy Mac, you know, right here, my guy Nate Jones right there, speaking with them, hanging out with them, you know, I was just talking on the regular. They said for it. Um, what you think about you and McGregor having come again? I say I, I believe the fight can happen. You know, uh, made some calls and we made it happen. Today was your first day face to face. What was your impression of him? Um, he's a warrior. He's a fighter. You can look at him and see he's a fighter. You know, but it's different. You know, uh, I mean, I think he's. I think it's different for him because I was sitting quiet. I didn't say anything. So it was a little different from me, like, what's going on, what's going on? And I was like, ah, <laughs> and caught, basically caught him off guard. Yeah. Um, but um, he's a warrior, he's, he's tough, and he's going to fight his heart out. Who has the better punches, who has the better punch lines, and why? Uh, punch as far as, I mean, I feel like, te you know, technical-wise, as far as throwing punches, period, the correct way, I was taught the correct way from the beginning. So I don't think probably no fighter in history can throw shots uh, more correct than I can because I was taught the right way, you know, uh, from the beginning, from the legendary trainers from back in the day. But my dad taught me the right way from the beginning. Um, punch lines, I mean... Uh, you're pretty good today. I probably got to be the best. I mean, at least I think so. But the main thing, you know, the, one of the most important things just in combat sport, in, in, in combat sports, is IQ. I have a, you know, a crazy IQ. And you know, you've been working with me for years, so you already know when we do our commercial shoots, you know, you didn't shot with so many different athletes. I've been far one of the best. You know, when we when we shoot commercials. Actually, that's wrong. You're the best. Uh, tell that, buddy. Everything. All right. So one more question. Forty nine have. <laughs> Forty nine have tried. Forty nine have came up short. All right, my friend. All right, thank, thank you. Thank you. Hey, I got my coffee. I got you. I'm confused. You don't matter. Now the lady. That's so why I ain't never doing that. Why not? Entertainment. Um, part of history. Uh, two worlds coming together, two warriors coming together, and it's the biggest money probably in history, so why not? That's right. So he's been taking a very disrespectful approach on how he's going to win this fight. Uh -huh. Do you feel like in any way you were baited into this fight by the way he was uh, approaching you? Uh, well, yeah, this fight is happening because of me first. Uh, it's crazy that... Um, I'm not a, you know what I'm saying, I'm a fan of all contact sports. You know, I don't watch much MMA, but when it is on TV and somebody, when someone comes over my home, or come on my, you know, come on my home and turns MMA on, I don't say, I'll turn the TV. I, I watch, mm -hmm. you know, I've been mean, moving around a little bit, but I, I watch, I think, it's, a, it's, this, it's this one fighter, this black fighter that be fighting, that you from St. Louis. MMA fighter. What's his name? Tyron Woodley. He can fight. His ass can fight. Mm -hmm. And you know, um, he's one of the best, but uh, he's one of the best. But it takes a lot to be at the top. One thing about Conor McGregor, he's gonna he's gonna talk a lot of he's gonna talk a lot of trash. He's also gonna back it up. Mm -hmm. So you got to be able to articulate well. You know, you have to have. To get the gap, you have to have a certain look, you have to have a certain aura, you have to have a certain swag. You know, you can have another fighter that's 33 and 0 with 33 knockouts. You say, well, Floyd, uh, why he, why ain't he getting Floyd Mayweather paydays? I say, well, what's his name? He said, well, we don't know. We just know he undefeated. I said, well, I'm not just undefeated. You know, you know, I'm an icon in the sport. I'm a legend in the sport, a living legend in the sport. And 
you know, I had, you have to take your head off to the legendary champions that paved the way for you to be where you're at. Mm -hmm. So, and so it takes a lot, you know, to, to get to this level. Sure. Now, he's used to getting kicked, punch, choked, the whole thing. Because of that, do you feel like this is your toughest opponent because of the pain or what he can take in, the, in his day job? I can't really say. But I know he's going to come out and fight his ass off. Mm -hmm. He's going to fight hard. And that's what it's about. Him fighting hard. And, um, it's going to be a not, it's going to be a, it's going to be an interesting knockdown, drag out fight. That's great. So, you're going to have fans from all walks of life. You have fans from all <laughs> around the world coming to see two warriors mm -hmm. collide. That's great. So, what can you tell your fans and tell them why they should turn in on August 26th to watch you? Fans, we're just getting started. This has been the first press conference, and it was crazy. Over 11,000 fans showed up. Just with the numbers today, we're on a record of breaking the Mayweather Pacquiao uh, pay-per-view numbers. Uh, but, you know, I'm just blessed to even hold the record for all three of the pay-per-view uh, records that's been the, the top three pay-per-view boxing records is held by myself, so I'm, I'm blessed. I want to tell the, the boxing fans and the MMA fans from around the world, thank you. Right. So you already know, all your fans expect you to win. What can you, what can you promise? But, it's, but a lot of fans expect for him to win also. You know, you can never overlook anyone. You see, Pacquiao just overlooked a guy in Australia and came up short. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you know, I'm not going to overlook McGregor. Can you promise his fans anything? Uh... I promise you guys should come out. Well, I can't promise you guys, but you guys should come out uh, to Las Vegas and have fun. You know, uh, the Mayweather McGregor weekend. Unbelievable. Uh, gambling, um, shows on the strip, but also come to the girl collection. <laughs> <laughs> My gentleman's club. <laughs> That's right. Now, Thank so, you. Now, what do you think this fight means to boxing as a whole? It means a lot to the MMA world and to the boxing world. You know, um, it's gonna bring the fans together. You can't say that, oh, now I'm an MMA fan, but but say I never, I've never been a boxing fan because everything started with boxing first. Mm -hmm. But um, the UFC and the MMA is growing, and it's a great thing. So, what does this fight mean to your legacy ultimately? It means, a, I mean, it's a part of history. You know, it's a part of history. You know, when you. When, like I said, when I spoke to someone earlier, when we long gone, and they pull us up, they're gonna show this interview, they're gonna show you, they're gonna show all the fans, all the people. And people were like, damn, that was crazy back then. Mm -hmm. But by this time, it's gonna be fighters making, you know, even, they're gonna be fighters probably making a billion dollars for a fight. Right. So here's what, inquiring minds want to know, do we have a big walkout planned? And can you give us a hint on who that might be? August 26th, I want you guys to tune in. Name one of my burger. My pay per view right now. And yes, we have the most expensive fight tickets in the world. But it's worth it. You know, y'all got the money, spend it. You know, if y'all got something, get in touch with my team. I'm going to spend money on y'all brand also. That's right. The money team. That's right. Last question. Right here. So, Mayweather, one question, right darling. Here. How many rounds do you think he's gonna last? Because I see, you know, he's a different fighter than you, so I know you're gonna knock him out, buddy, quickly. How many rounds do you think he's gonna last? With them tactics for that MMA fight? Mm -hmm. Conor McGregor is a, a good fighter. Okay. Let me ask you. So you're not gonna underestimate him, you you're not gonna underestimate him, then? I don't underestimate him. You know you knock him out quick. Thank right you, Mayweather. Right Yahoo Sports coming to you live. This is Kevin Ioli. With Floyd Mayweather. With Floyd Mayweather, and I've been doing this with Kevin McLeod. I don't know how many years. 1996? Yes, 1996, 21 years. Yahoo Sports, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? We have the Mayweather-McGregor fight. Today was the first press conference. We're live in L.A. at the Staples Center. Don't miss it. Talk to me, Kevin. Okay, well, we will talk to you because you have a strange hat on. 48, and you're going for your 50th win. What is the 48? Well, number 48 was the biggest fight in boxing history. This was iconic, like a close friend of mine would say. My friend Mac would say, right here, it was iconic. But, you know, this was a $300 million fight for me, you know? And of course, one of my favorite shows is First 48. 
<laughs> so, so uh, will you go get a 50 if you win this one? I'm going to play, you know, I think 50 is on a pace right now of breaking the Mayweather Pacquiao. You know, so we got to, we have to keep the 48 over here, put the 50 over here, and put the, put the line down the middle. Connor just said in the other room that uh, if Floyd doesn't disrespect me or doesn't uh, take my name in vain, then I'll be good. But if he doesn't, I won't follow the Marcus of Queensbury rules and I might drop an elbow on his head what, what, or choke, choke you out. What do you think of that? I mean, you know, um, if he wants to get an eight-figure fine, then that's on him. My job is to follow the rules and do what I have to do. I mean, if you feel like if Conor McGregor feel, feels like he was the A-side, then guess what? We will be fighting right now in the octagon. But it doesn't matter. If, if we was in the octagon, we still, we still would be standing up fighting toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Um, he's a warrior. He's a competitor. And we'll just see. It's obvious, I mean, um, he's done something right, and I've done something right to be in the situation that we're in. Do you feel like the footwork, uh, you know, you're renowned for your footwork, your ability to walk guys into punches. Yeah, but you know, I, I mean, Do you think in seven or eight months you know, he I'll do, can do that? Um, Let's do it again. I mean, the cha-cha. Uh, that's dancing with the stars. Um, you look, I mean, I can't really say the footwork. You know, I'm older, so my footwork is not the same. So I think uh, I think that it's going to be um, more of a toe-to-toe -to -toe battle. When you square, squared up with him, you know, I mean, he made the comment that you're really small and tiny. He said you're small, frail, yep. and he's going to walk right through you. When you looked at him, I think, you know, Oscar was probably the biggest guy you fought, right, well, physically? Well, we need to say this. Right now, he's heavy. He's still got to come down to weight. Mm -hmm. When me and Shane Moley did our press conference, he was a lot bigger. But when he came down to weight, I was bigger. So once he comes down to weight, I'm going to be bigger. So I'm not. That has nothing to, to, to do with skills. Um, he's a skillful fighter. He's tough, and we know that he has punching power. He's a stand-up fighter. Only time we see him take a L was on the ground, you know, in the MMA. But far as standing up, he's explosive. MMA fighters, obviously, you know this because you watch it a little bit, have to defend a lot more things, so they can't throw boxing punches the same way a boxer does. So how, you know, boxing fans are wondering how is uh, Conor McGregor going to lay a hand on Floyd Mayweather? Well, you know, you're you're standing here almost defending him to a certain degree. How no, I'm not only defending him, but youth is on his side. This guy's in his 20s. I'm in my 40s. Um, he's taller. Um, he's 5'9", I'm 5'8". He has a 74-inch reach, I have a 72-inch reach. So everything is honestly leaning towards this guy, and he's active, and I'm inactive. When you, I want to ask you about the pay-per-view. When the Pacquiao fight came up, it had been five or six years, we had all been talking to you and talking to Manny about making that fight. So you had the entire media and the entire public for five or six years saying, hey, this is going to be a huge fight, so you did a big number. On this fight, almost everybody in the media is saying the fight's going to be terrible, Floyd's going to destroy him, it's going to be a one-sided fight. So how do you convert those fans who are saying, yeah, I don't want to watch Mayweather just in a wall? How do you convert those fans to pay their $100? Because he's not going to lay down. One thing I know about Carmen, McGregor, he gonna come and fight. You know, he has Ireland on his back. You know, he has Ireland on, on his back. He wants to win. You know, I can look at a fighter and tell when he wants to win. He wants to win. He's gonna, he's gonna come out there and fight his ass off. Me, myself, remember, they just said this the other day. A fighter who turned professional at 18 beat one of the, beat an icon. Jeff Horn. Yes. Um, you know, uh, I just done an interview last night with Ben, and I didn't really know his name. So I'm, I'm glad you, you gave me his name, but no disrespect to Jeff Horn. Um, but like I said before, everybody wants to fight Floyd Mayweather. Um, everybody wants to fight Floyd Mayweather. I can, you know, if I really want to stay in boxing, you know, if I really want to stay in boxing, you know, of course, my minimum will, will always be uh, 32 to 35 million. If I if I just want just just to fight, just a regular fighter. But you know, uh, remember my health is very important. And with me going into this training camp, I can see that I, I, I'm not the same. I can see I'm not the same that I was. I'm not the same fighter that I was 10 years ago. I'm not the same fighter that I was five years ago. So I I talked with Al today. 
And he really asked me, looking me in my, my eyes and said, Floyd, this has to be our last one. So even though you look, you know, and me as a longtime boxing fan, I was a boxing fan before you were born. So yes. I was a sugar, I saw Sugar Ray Robinson in person. I was a young mm. boy, but I saw him in his last fight in Pittsburgh. And I guess my question to you is, I, I'd like to see you fight Errol Spence or fight a Keith Thurman. Those are fights that I yeah, look at I and mean, say they would be great fights. They You're going to go out fighting an MMA fighter. Don't you think that that somehow cheapens that no, 50th I win? I think that, I think Keith Thurman, I congratulate him. Um, on his career, Errol Spence, I congratulate him on his career. These are young guys that's in boxing. Mm -hmm. And these guys can compete against each other. I had my time, you know, this is my last hurrah. The fans demanded the Mayweather-McGregor fight. They didn't demand Mayweather against anyone else. This is the fight that the fans demanded. And it's gonna be a very intriguing matchup. But when we get to talking about other fighters, okay, we talking about we talk about other fighters where I can make 30 men, or we're gonna talk about where I can make over 300 men. So there's a difference. Of course, but I mean. So, no, no, no. It's about business. 